I got asked this question about Celo subgroups on a recent live stream, and it's definitely the kind of thing you can expect to see on an algebra qual. So we want to prove that every group of order 870 has a normal 29 Celo subgroup. We start by factoring 870 into its prime factors, and using CELO 3, we know that the number of CELO subgroups has to divide 2 times 3 times 5 and be congruent to 1, so the only possibilities are that it's either 1 or 30. So if it was 1, we know since all CELO subgroups are conjugate that that would force it to be normal, so we just have to rule out the case that 30. So let's assume that for the sake of obtaining a contradiction. So if that were the case, then each of those 30 CELO subgroups would have 28 non-identity elements, and so in total this would account for 840 elements of order 29, which means that there would be 30 elements not of order 29. So we're going to let the set X be all of those elements that don't have order 29 or order 1. So that's going to have 29 elements, and we choose an element of order 29, which exists because we know that we have at least one of these Celo subgroups slash Cauchy's theorem. The cyclic group generated by that element of order 29 acts on the set X. Now, order is preserved by conjugation, and Cauchy's theorem also tells us that we have elements of order 2, 3, and 5. So there has to be at least three orbits. So decomposing the set of 29 elements into its fixed points and its non-trivial orbits, we could again assume for the sake of contradiction that there were no fixed points, in which case there's at least three non-trivial orbits. And by the orbit stabilizer theorem, the orders of each of those orbits have to be the indices of the stabilizer subgroups. But the stabilizer subgroups are subgroups of a simple group of order 29. So they've either got order 1 or 29. Since these are non-trivial orbits, they can't have order uh, 29. So they have to have order 1. So each of these orbits has to have order 29. And that, that's just way too big to equal the other side of the equation. So there's a fixed point H. But if H is a fixed point, then conversely, H fixes the group generated by S under conjugation, which is a CELO29 subgroup. But now G acts transitively on the set of all CELO29 subgroups under conjugation. Again, if we use the orbit stabilizer theorem, we see that 870 is the order of G, which is the order of the orbit times the order of the stabilizer, and we know that the orbit is 30, and so we conclude that the stabilizer has to have order 29. But this is a problem because we know that each of the 29 elements of P have to stabilize that group under conjugation, but we just figured out that there's at least one other element that stabilizes the group, so that's 30, and there's our contradiction.